Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at a package called GT Summary, which provides really nice succinct summary tables for our data. So we need to use Tidyverse and we need GT Summary. If we don't have those packages installed, we go to the Packages tab, hit Install. And then the data that we're going to use is just one of the built-in data sets called CO2. Be careful, there is another one with lowercase cno. Uh, we're using this one with the capitals. And if we have a look at the top of it, it's some data. It was an experiment with plants. There was types of plants, treatment, uh, some concentration levels, and some uptakes. And so let's start off with a very basic summary table. So we're going to take CO2. Just doing a little select here. I'm knocking out the plant label and the concentration. So we're just going to look at uh, the type, the treatment, and the uptake. And all we need to use from GT summary is this TBL underscore summary. And when we run this, it takes a second, but it gives us a table. We've got uh, 80, 84 in our sample, 42 of each of the two different types, 42 of each of the two different treatments because it was an experiment. And then uptake was numeric. It gave us the median and the interquartile range. So median was 28, interquartile range was 18 to 37. We're going to want to be able to adjust that. We're going to, in a second, see how we can make this a little bit more useful. First thing we might want to do is we often will want to divide uh, these summary tables up by some sort of categorical variable. So our second line here, we are doing the TBL summary and by type, is going to let us split so it'll give us treatment it'll give us uptake separated by the two different types of plant so we run that and then we see that now we have a column for the quebec and a column for the mississippi still the same stats in there but now divided by our categorical variable that we have told it so now we can start to get a little bit more fancy and we can add p-values to do pairwise comparisons. So let's suppose we wanted to compare uptakes between the two or the treatments by the types. We just add add underscore p and it will do tests for each of these breakdowns that we're doing. So we run that one. Uh, with this particular data, we do get a warning message with the Wilcoxon test because we have some ties in there. But it is now also giving us a column with p-values. Down the bottom, it's told us, so it did a chi-square test comparing the two categoricals. And a Wilcoxon rank sum test for comparing the medians of the uptakes. We come down to our next one and all of a sudden you can see starting to add a lot more info. So basically under statistic we can specify what we want. Pretty much all of our normal measures. So here we're going to have mean and standard deviation. But we could include the median and the quartiles, maximum, minimum. Uh, even more obscure things like kurtosis if we really wanted it. We've added p-value. This time we've also added a column for overall. So as well as breaking it down, so we've still got the by, so we're still breaking it down by plant type. We're also going to have a column for overall. And then this last one, the spanning heading, is going to put a heading over the top of our two plant types. Let's run all of that. And this is the most complex of the ones we're going to look at. But basically if you jump into the into their help page, you'll see all of the different options that you can add in there. And once you've got this couple of these typed out, you'll be able to reuse them with different variables and different data sets and so on. So there's the added title, there's the overall. We can now see that the uptakes uh, have changed to be means and standard deviations. We've got N over N and a percentage represented there for our categories, all there within one nice table for us. So nice and convenient, not having to build up the, ta the table in pieces, it's all done for us. The last thing we're going to do is just a cross tab. We can kind of see already a cross tab, but if we just want to do a cross tab, we could have done that and just selected only our two categorical variables, but we can also use TBL underscore cross. We can specify our rows now columns. And again, if we want, we can add the p-value on the end. So we run that, we get the nicely presented cross tab between the two different categorical variables. 
So this is quite a nice handy little package. Uh, if we were writing up maybe something like some basic research, we needed to be able to produce tables in our document that were nicely formatted and we just wanted a really nice simple way of doing it, then the GT summary package is definitely just that. If what I've shown you does look pretty interesting and applicable to your type of work, I would definitely recommend having a look at the help. Uh, you'll be able to see all of the extras that you can add in there to change both the contents of the table and also how it is laid out and displayed. Hopefully this has been helpful today. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, hit subscribe. We'll be back soon with more stats, uh, research and random stuff.